How are the conditions in the place where you stay under quarantine? Because you get all the time so much information and I think you don't need that like if you live in a big city like Istanbul Any hobby you like to do apart from YouTube Hi everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel So today's video is going to be a Q&A The last time I did a Q&A it was I believe in December or January and in that time I got some new followers so I thought it was a nice idea to do a little uh, Q&A again if you're new here on my channel don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell I upload every Wednesday and Saturday a brand new video and I make a lot of turkey vlogs, uh, beauty videos so if you like that make sure you subscribe and of course I also have an Instagram where you can follow me and now let's get started with the questions so I asked you guys on my Instagram but also on YouTube itself in like a little community post uh, if you have any questions and I've got some uh, beauty related uh, questions some questions about living in Turkey about our quarantine time uh, in Tokat and um, yes let's dive in the first question is how are you now so uh, thank you so much for asking that question I am actually really good now as you maybe saw in my vlogs that we were in quarantine in Tokat um, yes, I was really struggling there. It was so hard to just stay 17 days inside and it was like really uh, depressing and uh, a lot of anxiety came to me. But uh, now I'm back home and I'm feeling really, really uh, good here. Just that I can make videos again, that I'm busy like in my own home cleaning and uh, reorganizing everything. So yes, I'm uh, really fine and I'm feeling really good. How is your daily routine during this time? I wake up in the morning, we breakfast, I all time try to do some exercise um, in the morning. So I always try to do like a home workout and um, after these two weeks, if we are able to leave our house again, I will definitely go walk uh, every day. And walking is just a great exercise also to make your head a little bit empty. And uh, yes, I think walking is really nice. I'm also making some Instagram photos. I'm filming videos, um, cleaning. So yeah, my daily routine, I have enough to do uh, every day. What skincare products do you use for your face? So because I had a lot of acne problems, which are thankfully a lot less at the moment, um, yeah, I'm using a lot of different kind of brands and products. I'm using some Rose Sense uh, products. So rose water, I think it's really nice. And I'm also trying out a new product that I got from my sister. It's from a Korean brand. And uh, yes, I will definitely show that in maybe a skincare video if you're um, interested. I also have some products from Yves Roger, like a day cream and cleanser. So uh, yes, let me know if you are uh, interested in seeing a skincare routine. Then a question about our quarantine in Tokat. How are the conditions in the place where you stay under quarantine? So if you saw maybe in my vlog, it was just a really small room. We had a bathroom and a toilet. We had a bedroom and also some uh, student tables where we ate our breakfast and lunch and dinner. And uh, yes, the conditions were all right, I would say. I mean, there are people who have a lot less, so I can't complain. But um, yes, it was not, of course, like a hotel, obviously. Like we had one towel for two weeks, three times a day a meal, but we couldn't leave our room. So the conditions were like, yeah, not the best, but of course everyone tried their best and I'm really thankful for everyone who worked there. But yes, if you're interested to see how the room looked, I will link it uh, up here, um, somewhere up here. What is your profession interesting to know? Well, um, I'm a hairdresser and a makeup artist. After high school, I went to study fashion and business and I really love the fashion part of it but the business part not so much. Well, that's not all true. I really like the business part, like how to start a company and how to build a company. Uh, I really like that part, but it was a lot of uh, numbers and I'm really, really bad with numbers. So uh, at the end I changed it and I went to beauty school. I think that's how you call it, beauty school, like uh, for hairdressing and makeup. And it was just really creative and I really liked it. So yes, that's my profession. Was your family acceptive of your relationship? So I would say yes. My family really likes my husband. They get along very well. Of course, they don't see him that much because we live in Turkey and my family is living in the Netherlands. What is your favorite Disney movie and character? 
So my all-time favorite Disney movie is definitely The Lion King. That's just really a childhood movie that I love to watch. I love the music. I just love everything about The Lion King. And uh, my favorite Disney character is Marie. And I have a plush here. Marie, I got this one from my sister and my brother-in-law in Disneyland Paris. Uh, yeah, Marie is just so pink, girly, and I just love her. So, um, Marie. What is your biggest dream? Well, if I think about YouTube, like my goals, of course I would like to grow uh, with YouTube and maybe make it my job and then I can earn some money from it. Uh, that will be really nice. Also with my Instagram, of course. Um, so if you haven't followed me yet, go follow me on there as well. And really my biggest goal in life is just to be happy. Just to have a happy life, a happy family. What's on your wish list? So I really want to try the ordinary products. Uh, I wanted to buy some in the Netherlands, but um, because all shops were closed, I couldn't. And here in Turkey, I'm not really sure if they sell it. So um, some ordinary products. I really want to try the skincare, by the way, it's skincare products. Maybe also some Too Faced products, uh, maybe a Too Faced eyeshadow palette. Um, I would really like to try. Any tips to stay positive? Find something that you like to do. Maybe like a hobby if you like to uh, craft or paint or gaming. Just find something that you like to do and keep yourself busy with that. Also what really helped me um, in the quarantine time in Tukat is to read um, some phrases of the Bible every day. To watch things that make you happy. Also just don't watch the news uh, uh, that much. I just stopped watching the news. With the news you get all the time so much information and I think you don't need that, your brain doesn't need that. Only start to worry more, so just don't watch the news. Of course keep up to date with the rules in your country about lockdown and all of that, but just don't watch the news, I think that's my biggest tip. Also what I try to do every day is to um, uh, say five things that you are thankful for. So maybe you're thankful for the nice weather today, you are thankful for the nice cake you ate, you are thankful yeah, for whatever, just uh, try to do that every day. Biggest differences between the Netherlands and Turkey. Well, there are so many uh, big differences between those two countries. Like what's a huge difference, of course, is the size. Like the Netherlands is such a small country and Turkey is like huge. Like I was used to everything being so close to each other. So if I want to go to the supermarket or the center, everything was so close to me. Or like cities, if you want to go from one city to another, it's like not that far. And here in Turkey, everything is like big and far. If you want to go from one city to another, it's like a few hours. Like for example, we live in Marmaris. If you want to go to Mugla, it's already again two hours and it's like in the same province or Bodrum. Bodrum is also like two and a half three hours I believe so everything is so far from each other and I wasn't used to that so um, yes we are traveling a lot more than I did in the Netherlands the food also is really different a lot of Turkish dishes are with rice and um, a lot of vegetables and it's also really different uh, comparing to the Netherlands so those two are definitely uh, the biggest differences, I think. Any tips for living in Turkey? I'm moving there next year. Wow, that's so exciting. Um, I don't know where you are going to move uh, in Turkey because um, it really depends on the city. Everything is so different here. Like if you live in a big city like Istanbul or Izmir on Ankara, uh, or that you go like more to the touristic places like Bodrum, uh, Marmaris, Antalya or that kind of cities. Any tips? Well, I would say just uh, dive in the culture. Just try to learn a little bit about the Turkish culture. If you speak Turkish, it will also help you a lot because a lot of people don't speak English here. Try to be interested in the people, uh, in the food. Um, try everything, especially pide. Pide is my absolute favorite. A dolma is really nice. Try that. And of course baklava, oh it's so delicious, so definitely uh, try those. Yes, that are my biggest tip, just dive in the culture. If you speak Turkish or if you don't speak Turkish yet, try to learn some basic things. So uh, if you are uh, traveling or something, you can talk a little bit Turkish. So uh, yes, and I hope you have a lot of fun here because it's a beautiful country. Do you and your hubs ever plan on having children and how old are the two of you? 
So I am 25 and my husband he is 31 and yes I do want to have children one day and um, yes I don't know when but we will see it but yes I hope to be a, a mom one day any hobby you like to do apart from YouTube so in the summertime I really love to swim that's I think my biggest hobby uh, in the summertime it keeps me it keeps me fit and I just love to do it I used to do uh, swimming competitions in the Netherlands I'm not that fast anymore at all and I'm sorry that was the door. So yeah, swimming in the uh, summertime and I also like to make some drawings sometimes. I'm really bad at it, I'm not good at all. But yes, I just like to do it. Have you been to San Francisco? So um, no, I've never been to uh, the USA. Um, I would love to go maybe one day, I don't know. Um, it's really far from here, it's like maybe 15 hours. And it's also really expensive. So, um, yes, I'm not really sure if I will be able to go one day, but uh, who knows. How many siblings do you have and are you the oldest one? So, I have one sister and she's one year younger than me. I'm 25 and she's 24, so uh, yes, I'm the oldest. How long have you been married and do you have kids? So, I've been married now for over four years and no, I don't have children yet. Is your husband's camera shy? I would love it if you did a husband and wife tag. So uh, yes, my husband, um, you probably never really see in my videos. You see him only from the backside or like his hand or yeah, I know you never see his face. Yeah, he doesn't like to be on camera. Um, just in general, he doesn't like to take pictures and to be uh, on camera. So um, maybe one day if he changes his mind, I don't know. I mean, we'll do maybe like a husband and wife deck or like a video together. It will be fun, but of course, if he doesn't want it. But of course, I also respect his privacy and his decision. Like if he doesn't want to be on camera, yeah, so be it. Maybe one day, who knows? So thank you so much for all the questions. I really enjoyed answering them. If you have any more, uh, feel free to ask. If you haven't subscribed yet, make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell so you won't miss any new videos. And also give me a follow on Instagram. And I hope to see you guys soon in one of my other videos. Bye!